tonight with an NBC 15 News exclusive. An eight year old Escambia County girl is being held a hero tonight after saving her grandmother's life. Second grader Kenley Madison not only called emergency crews, but gave them specific instructions on how to get them to her Atmore home in a hurry. NBC 15's Corey Pippen spoke to Kenley and her school resource officer who presented her a special award. The Escambia County Alabama Sheriff's Office says it's not every day you see an eight year old do what Kinley Madison did, helping an ambulance get to her grandmother in the nick of time. I told them that please hurry up because she couldn't breathe. She, her breathing machine, she was, it really wasn't working. Eight year old Kinley Madison may only be in the second grade, but she has wisdom beyond her years and now an award to prove it from saving the life of her own grandmother. I love her, that's why I saved her. Kinley was with her grandmother Becky Sorrells at her mobile home on Jack Springs Road in Atmore in April when suddenly Sorrells breathing machine for emphysema stopped working. I was super scared and I was I started crying. But Kinley stayed brave, jumping into action and calling 911, not only guiding emergency responders to the address, but away from their main driveway, which was impassable due to mud. It was pretty amazing that she knew exactly what to do and even called back a second time to make sure they were on their way. Deputy Jeff Weaver with the Escambia County Alabama Sheriff's Office is Kinley's school resource officer at Huxford Elementary School. Last week, he and Sheriff Heath Jackson presented Kinley with their life-saving award. It's not every day that you recognize an eight-year-old in the community. For us to be able to do that with her would help her in her future to, you know, choose the right path. And if you ask Kinley, it means the world. It makes me feel happy and it makes me feel loved. Kinley's grandmother didn't want to speak on camera, but was very emotional, telling me she spent more than a week in the hospital and believed she would have died without her best friend. I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.